Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, we will start our afternoon session. Uh, the topic of uh, India-Sweden green transition is is our top main topic of the day. And Emirates, of course, is um, a key enabler because just like we meet here and so much work and networking and business happens, it's equally important to also travel. But can we do that sustainably is something maybe you can help us understand uh, Bjorn. So very happy to present Bjorn Ekegren, the country manager for Sweden and Finland for Emirates to talk to us a little bit about Emirates and their thoughts around, around the green transition. Thank you, Sang Yu, and thank you for getting my title uh, right, <laughs> right this time. time. <laughs> but I like the first one that you, you used as I well. I call him C the CEO of Emirates. Uh, <laughs> and then I said Nordics, but he, was, he said that's <laughs> a bit too high. I said, okay, fine. <laughs> but before I talk about the green transition and so on, I just wanted to talk a little bit where we are in the industry as such. Uh, and compare that a little bit to the pre-pandemic levels. We are not back, the industry as such. The latest statistics that I looked like from a worldwide perspe perspective is saying that capacity is approximately down 25% compared to 2019. Passenger volumes more or less on the same level. So it takes time before we have done a full recovery in the industry. Emirates as such, we are at minus 20% compared to 2019. We are flying more or less to all the destinations that we did, but we don't have the frequencies uh, at the same level as before. But what is very positive is that India is one of the fastest growing destinations out from Sweden. And it started already this summer. And it was for me like what's happening here. Uh, the big free destinations in uh, India is the same as they used to be. It's Delhi, it's Mumbai, it's Bangalore, and in that order as well. But besides flying to the three we see up here, we are also flying to six other destinations in uh, India with 170 weekly frequencies as per today. So we are covering India quite well, I must say. And also, the connections and so on are okay from Arlanda. What we have seen now is a change in consumer behavior. We see an extremely late booking pattern. You are destroying my life. <laughs> Inventory steering, revenue steering, based on historical values as we have used in the past. We have to start all over again. Hmm. Uh, le leisure travel has rebounded quicker than business travel. Could also be so that there has been a pent up demand for the leisure side. You haven't traveled for three years, now it's time to travel and you travel. Uh, another interesting observation is we see that direct bookings are increasing. And what is that? Is that, that is that you do your bookings on the airline's web page. You're not using an agent. And especially when I look at the figures from Sweden, I see a huge increase to India. The main part of the bookings are actually coming through our website. And the question is, of course, why is that? Security, safety, trust. <laughs> trust, mm. I think, is one of them. What happened during the pandemic? And some people got stuck in the system and so on. It took a long time to get the money back, etc., etc. 
So there is an increase in direct bookings. We see a change in travel policies, of course, but here we have to, there's a difference, of course, when you talk about traditional huge companies and maybe the SMEs and so on. But we see a focus on uh, security when we talk to the big corporates. Uh, more online meetings, of course. Type of meetings uh, defines way of meeting. That has led to less business travel. Business travel is picking up, and it will pick up, as I see it, to the 2019 years level, but will take a little bit more time. And then, of course, there is a focus on sustainability. Wow. In Emirates, we are focusing on three areas. Reducing emissions, consuming responsibility, and preserving wildlife and habitats. That's the three areas that we are focusing on. Uh, if you start, what we read a lot about is, of course, that the airlines are the big polluter. Well, we? not completely true. Not completely true. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> But we are trying to do our part. It has always been in our gene to have a modern fleet with modern and fuel-efficient aircrafts. The average uh, age of our fleet is 8.2 years. And we will get new deliveries of new aircrafts from 2024. Should have actually started already now, but Boeing and Airbus have had some production problems. And the new aircrafts or the new engines will be even more fuel-efficient. 16 to 20 percent compared to the current ones. Of course, we support uh, the collective industry commitment to be uh, zero carbon uh, free from 2050. And then we have a hot topic, sustainable aviation fuel, of course. And we support all initiatives when it comes to that. But it's a tricky one. If I look at our network and we are where, where we are flying, it's not available everywhere. And then there is the price tag on stuff as well. It's expensive. And that means that the tickets will become more expensive as well. We are using sustainable aviation fuel from Arlanda today and we will continue to do so. We are using it in three countries, actually, and Sweden is one of them. Other initiatives, if we look at it uh, from a grant perspective, we are invested in solar power system in some of our facilities, as you can see here. Uh, no, new initiative is Bustanica, that means garden in Arabic, by the way. The world largest hydrophonic farm, as everything else in Dubai is world's largest, <laughs> so why not build the largest one of these as well? The beauty about this one is that you save 95% water compared to traditional gardening. That's a key issue in Dubai. Yes. Yeah. Consuming responsibility, just to give you a few examples of initiatives. We have a program in place to reduce plastic, of course. Plastic straws being replaced. Paper bags instead of plastic bags. Uh, economy class uh, blankets uh, have been replaced by recycled plastic, etc., etc. A few other initiatives. Uh, the menus in economy class are no longer on paper, they are digital. And just that small thing means that we save 44 tons of paper per month. Back a little bit to what we do on the ground. Uh, 
Recycled water is used in the facility for cleaning engine parts. I don't know how this dry washing technique works, but it's, uh, it's very smart anyhow, and it's working. Uh, our ground equipment are, of course, electrically powered, etc. Wildlife and habitats. Oh, now I see Dr. Yeon. <laughs> <laughs> it's also something that we focus on. Uh, focused very much on, no, not very much, not only, but we have the, the Dubai des Desert Conservation Reserve, that is a huge area uh, which provides a protected home for the wildlife in UAE. We are also strong supporter for actions to, for, to stop the illegal trade in wildlife and wildlife pr products and so on. And that was just to mention two. some of your initiatives. And I'll, I'll be, I'm also happy to inform you that uh, I wear another hat and it's with WWF, the World Wildlife Foundation. Uh, I run a sustainable consumption and diets platform. And I know we work with Emirates Nature and WWF in UAE where we have just introduced a whole uh, sustainable uh, consumption in the area of food and, and to sort of look at, you know, from food sourcing because Dubai imports so much food and then to talk about how that is consumed, including healthy, sustainable meals, school meals and so on. So Emirates is doing a lots of interesting initiatives and all this is, of course, also leading up to COP28 in Dubai. Exactly. Now we will be in Sharm El Sheikh in two weeks and after that it will be COP28 where all eyes will be on UAE and Dubai. Thank you so much uh, Bjorn and please give him a big, big round of applause. Um, we, we did have one question about when will electric uh, airplanes uh, start and when are you, uh, when will Emirates fly that and you said something to me this morning. Batteries and so on. Yeah. So I hope not Walt and all with these the other current, amazing... With the current technology, not possible. Okay. It's not. Yeah. But it can come. Could come. But Maybe I somebody also, in this room can produce something. But it's something. also about the infrastructure at the yeah. airport. <laughs> okay. How will it look like when we have 50 aircrafts and all of them have to recharge at the same time? Yeah. Fair enough. And you have to do it within 30 minutes. Interessant. Thank Hello. you so much, Bjorn. Thank okay. you.